Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl and Green Arrow and the Canaries and some of the other DC TV shows. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So yeah, we are going back to some question and answer videos because you guys seem to like them. I haven't done one in quite a while now, so I think I'm going to get back to some of these because they are very enjoyable. So keep sending in your questions. They can be submitted over in the community tab. So it can be theories, questions, ideas, or just topics in general, or you know about news that you've seen online maybe that we haven't specifically talked about. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the first question. This is coming from Fan Gal on YouTube who asks, is Supergirl going to keep on using her new suit or are they going to use the old suit? Suit again so that's interesting because I think you know this new suit is really good everyone loves this new suit it's got the pants as Americans say aka she's got trousers and it looks really cool they upgraded the suit and it just looks a bit more kind of modernized and I really like it a lot of you guys really like it but same goes with the old suit which I think along with some of the flashes suits like season 2 and 3 I think along with that I think the Supergirl old suit is one of the best suits on DC TV like in the Arrowverse as a whole so obviously I think at one point we might go back to that in like flashbacks we'll see that occasionally or maybe like an alternate timeline version of Supergirl if that ever happens so I think they still have the suit but they're definitely gonna stick with the new suit they're not gonna like just revert back into you know the past season suits when they've created a whole new one for her that's just a step back and they won't do that if they're gonna do anything they're going to create another new suit but it won't be this season okay so let's move on to the next question this comes from Hark on YouTube who asks What's happening to Green Arrow and the Canaries? Is it getting picked up or cancelled? So, Green Arrow and the Canaries, we've been hearing about this for quite a long time now, like since, I don't know, September 2019, maybe even before, but that was around the time, you remember when Arrow last season, they had that sort of backdoor pilot episode in their final season, in season 8, and then they kind of said, oh, we're gonna have Green Arrow and the Canaries, this is gonna be a new spin-off, of Arrow that is coming but since then we've been seeing loads of CW shows getting picked up but we've heard nothing about Green Arrow and the Canaries the only thing we've heard is the star Catherine McNamara I think she signed on to another show as far as I can recall so that kind of is a sign that maybe this isn't happening and also I think there was some unhappiness around you know the concept of the show and Catherine actually being the lead I don't know what it was but it seems like everyone else was really committed, like Katie Cassidy and Juliana Harkavy. But I think what I've heard online, it was something to do with Mia actually being the lead role. I'm not sure, but right now we can't say it's cancelled, but it's unlikely to happen unless they're just going to take out Mia and it's going to be like, you know, Green Arrow and the Canaries, but someone else is going to be the Green Arrow instead of her. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. This comes from Toju Bikoff on YouTube who asks, Is Kara ever going to reveal her secret to the world? Well, Supergirl actually did that at one point, but it was in an alternate timeline, and this, you know, actually never happened in the real world, but when Mixie and Supergirl were actually watching the TV in the 100th episode, so that was episode 13 last season, we saw Supergirl reveal herself to the world, we saw that in the behind the scenes photos, we were like, hmm, does she actually reveal her identity as Supergirl to the whole world? But then we kind of figured out, oh, this is like episode 13, it's around the same time they were filming that, so we kind of presumed that it wasn't like our reality, and it turned out to be true, and I don't know if she's going to reveal her identity to the world at any point. There is obviously a chance, because... That is a big thing and a big factor in all of our shows and, you know, being superheroes with secret identities. So it's always threatened to happen at some point, but we'll have to wait and see when it actually happens to Kara. Because the likelihood is, it's probably going to happen at some point. Even though, you know, Kara probably won't want to reveal it herself. Maybe some sort of villain or something is going to reveal it at some point. But yeah, that's up in the air for now. But there is a high chance that could happen at some point in the near future. Alright, so let's move on to the next question. This comes from Most in Vaz on YouTube who asks, Give some news updates about Melissa. 
Okay, so Melissa, we don't know what is happening right now. We don't know if she's going to return to film with the rest of the cast and crew, which most of them are quarantining right now. Some of them have finished quarantining, like Jesse Raff. We know David Harewood went about a week or so ago, and he posted about it. Some of the other cast members posted about it. It seems like Melissa's stunt double is actually on set, and she's back in Vancouver because she posted something. She says, after six months down, we are back. Supergirl season six, here we go. And if she's back, right? If she is back, don't you think Melissa is back? Unless she is stunt doubling for another character on the show with a mask. I'm pretty sure she would only be back if Melissa was back, you know, sometime very soon or straight away. So also we heard recently they were seen, you know, cleaning out Melissa's trailer and getting it ready. So I'm guessing she's coming back soon. I think she's probably coming back sooner than people expected. People kind of expected them to like film for like two to three weeks and then Melissa will come back. But all things considered, with her stump double being there, with them cleaning out her trailer, it seems very, very likely that she's going to return when they start filming at the end of September. So what do you guys think about that? Do you think that she's going to be back on time to actually start filming when they start filming? I think there is a high possibility or they might give you know like a week or so but i don't see the point if it's like a week anyway let's move on to the next question this comes from sideswipes a boss since the new show that chris wood would have been starting isn't happening anymore do you think there is a possibility that he could return to supergirl for a few cameos or maybe longer so this is interesting because we've talked about this a couple of times that chris is going to be available but you know maybe he will be in vancouver with melissa most of the time i mean it would completely make sense considering the current circumstances however you know he isn't doing his show anymore it didn't get picked up for its full season run i believe they didn't even get to do their pilot but it was a sequel to some show in the past i forgot what it was called also he's got the animated show of kevin smith masters of the universe that is his only thing going right now and obviously he's going to want to be around vancouver probably wherever melissa is and melissa's going to be there for most of the year so there is a high chance that chris could be showing up at some point again as monel for a few cameos or potentially even longer i think it really depends on the story what the showrunners want and what Chris wants. So I think there may be some conflicting ideas. I don't think Chris is opposed to returning because he did return for the 100th episode. He was on set for Melissa's directorial episode, her directorial debut where he was in like a body bag. So, I mean, he's not opposed to coming back to the set. I think it's just finding the right time. And commenting underneath this, Mumro McLaren, who is always a big help on the channel, says cameos are going to be heavily restricted because of covid if you're not a main cast member or a recurring character chances are you won't be on the show and i think this is a very valid point because of all the restrictions going on is going to be very limited in terms of who can be on the set at one point and therefore it does make sense that cameos could be heavily restricted and potentially the idea of returning characters who aren't huge cast members who aren't going to stick around for you know half a season or the whole season or like five episodes or something you know there could be a chance that those characters don't show up this season due to all the restrictions but then maybe when the restrictions ease then you'll see like chris return you'll see some of the other characters and some of the actors who are going to be around and maybe they could return but we don't know right now so yeah that's interesting and let's move on to the final question this comes from scott decker on youtube who asks will they bring superboy in for a guest star on supergirl all right so we've talked about this in the past as well this is something i wanted to bring up again because Superboy is something that we've been looking forward to for quite a long time. Originally, when Monel first came, we thought he was Superboy. We thought the person in the pod was Superboy. And even like the first episode, we were like, oh, this is Superboy. But then, you know, it got revealed he's not a Kryptonian. He's from Daxamite. He's called Monel. He's not Superboy. But there is a chance, and I talked about this like recently, because you know how the season ended with Lex getting the sort of 
power to be, you know, immortal from the Leviathan members. In Young Justice, and I believe in the comics as well, what he does is he creates a clone of Superman, and that is how Superboy is formed, at least in Young Justice. So what happens if where he was at the end of the season with Lillian Luthor, his mother, what happens if they were there with that immortality code to create a new version of Superman or a new version of Supergirl? which would be even more fitting, so what happens if there's like an alternate version of Supergirl that could be showing up, I think that would be really interesting and you know the idea of alternate characters or doppelgangers have been topics and have been things that we've seen before on our shows, we've seen lots of different versions of Supergirl like Overgirl and Red Daughter Supergirl, so you know there have been alternate versions of Supergirl, there have been alternate versions of Superman before, well, you know, only in Elseworlds. But I think the idea of Superboy coming would be really, really welcome. So what do you think about this? Let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos. Also remember to share the channel around, share this video around on social media so everyone can see it. That would be really appreciated. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.